I know Alexis is cheating because one of the guys she's having sex with told me he was having sex with her. I see evidence of other guys on the bed. And I can't be with somebody that's with everybody else. I have been intimate with other women because she doing it, so I'm gonna do it too, and I'm gonna show her how I feel. Her chances of passing a lot of detective tests is my chances of walking across the Atlantic Ocean. Alexis also here about a gun incident. One of the kids, he told me that she pulled out a gun on him and put him out in the snow with no clothes on. Alexis calls me and tell me to come and get him. Okay, so I didn't go by myself because I knew she was gonna try to say I kidnapped him. So another family member of mine, you know, drove. We went and picked him up, and instead of us taking him to my house or my family member's house, we took him to the police station because I knew that she was gonna try to say I kidnapped him. And 30 minutes later, she called the police and said I kidnapped him. When we got to the police station, her son told CPS and the police the same story that he told me about her pulling out a gun and putting him out in the snow. She had the kid to tell CPS that I told him to make all this stuff up on her. And I took a lie detector test, and you will see that I passed a lie detector test. I never ever told this kid to fabricate anything concerning a gun and Alexis. Only thing I told her child was, you can tell them people anything, the truth about anything, because they are here to help you. So, I think she wants to take the lie detector test concerning the child, but she's saying, I didn't pistol with him. Well, the child never told me she pistol with him. The child said she pulled out a gun on him. That's two different things. So I think she's changing the language so she'll pass the lie detector test. Concerning her child and the gun, she's gonna fail. Concerning the cheating, she's gonna fail. So she took a long plane ride in a cold airport, long, long bus rides, and all this just to fail. Uh, Mike, what what happened with this uh, incident with the, with the gun? What happened that night? Okay, with the gun, she calls me, 2 a.m. She's like, "Come and get him. We're arguing, whatever, whatever." So I'm like, "Man, I don't trust her." You're like, you don't trust Alexis. Betrayal is written all over. But I'm saying this is your girl, though, right? Man, it's <laughs> evidence of her being with everybody. So. I can't commit to something like that. Right. But you're, you're, you're in a relationship with her. We be chilling, man. Yeah. <laughs> Does chilling equal relationship? Chilling mean intimate and... Yeah, I know what it means. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But, like, you go over there, you might see cake mix on the bed. What's cake mix? Residue, man. Oh. You've been okay. married too long. Yeah, I have been married too long. <laughs> I've never heard it called cake mix. OK, so you found some cake mix that wasn't from your box. Right. <laughs> right. You're getting healed now, man. You got the Alabama slang now. <laughs> you, you cheat too, right? I mean. After I saw this, that, so I'm like, man, I can't be a fool, so I start having friends, too. He, he said that she pulled the gun out on him. Right. Did he say that she pistol whipped him with it? He never told me she okay. hit him with it. Did you tell him to say this about the gun? You can look at me and tell my character right. would never, ever tell a kid to fabricate a story such about as this. About his mother pulling a gun and... Right. right this, I mean, you got to be a low-class guy. To you know damn well I would never do anything to hurt my kids. I'm telling you what was told to me. You came 1,100 miles. You came all the way across the country... I did. ...to fail a lot of tests. I came test. all the way to prove to you that you are a narcissist and you are a compulsive liar. Do you believe that your son told him that you pulled out a gun on him? At this point, I don't know which individual to believe. Right. If he fails for coaching your son to say that you pistol with him, 
I mean, that's the kind of stuff that could get your kids taken away. Yes, and I was at risk of getting my kids took away. Yeah, so you wouldn't be with him if he lied about that, right? Well, come on now. <sighs> See, I probably would give him a second chance. I probably would. We're all disappointed in you, Alexis. I know it. But, it, I mean, you're really in love with this guy. I am. Okay. okay. We broke yours down the two parts, the handgun and the cheating. We asked you, have you at any time used a handgun to discipline any of your children by hitting them with it? You answered no. Have you ever used your handgun for discipline purposes on any children in your care by hitting them with it? You answered no. Did you ever strike or hit your son with your handgun? You answered no. Did you ever pull out your handgun on your son? You answered no, and the results came back all the same, and they came back that Alexis told the truth. Besides the one man in the beginning of July, you had sex with another guy in July? I did. Okay, he knows about it? He does. Or you told him? He does. Right. You're okay with that? Besides the one man in the beginning of July, hey man, it's, four, it's around 4th of July, everybody gets crazy, right? <laughs> Besides the one man in the beginning of July, have you had any sexual intercourse with any other man besides Mike? You answered no. Have you ever had sexual intercourse with that friend that Mike suspects? You answered no. Have you ever had any physical sexual contact with that friend Mike suspects? You answered no. Those results came back all the same, and they came back that Alexis told the truth. <laughs> what do you, what do you, what's bothering you so bad right now? I shouldn't have to come on a TV show and travel miles away to prove that I'm a damn good mama to my kids. <laughs> okay. Um, so, Mike, you confessed. Uh, you said since November you had sexual acts with five other women. No, I had interactions with about five women. Right, sexual acts. Yeah, yeah, you know. Two me. intercourse. Yeah. You know, it might have been three intercourse out there. Right. But... So, we asked Mike, uh, this is about the whole son situation. Yeah. Did you tell Alexis' son to say he was hit by a handgun when asked? He answered no. Did you specifically tell Alexis' son to say that Alexis pulled a handgun on him when asked? He said no. Are you lying and making up a story when you said Alexis pulled a handgun out on her son? He answered no. Are you lying and making up a story that Alexis hit her son with a handgun? He answered no. Uh, and the results came back all the same. And it came back that Mike told the truth. I mean, I'm sorry for false accusing you. Uh, I mean, it just so many other things that I saw, but you did prove yourself to be right because there's no way to fake a lie to take the test. And again, I want to say I'm sorry. And I don't know if I'll be able to get back and have this same friendship with the person I lost because of the accusing that he thought that was going on. So from here, I just got to play it by ear and just take it a day at a time. Yeah. I'll just say this. When, when you're in a good relationship, you shouldn't have to sacrifice anything, let alone friendships and, and people and things like that. You shouldn't have to do that. Um, and you can't, you can't let anybody treat you like that. Constantly accusing you when you're doing nothing. I, I, yeah. Yeah. I think Mike's a decent guy. I don't think he's a bad guy. But I think he used these accusations against you as a way to cover up his own bad behavior. You know what I mean? I hope it works out. Maybe he changes. Maybe he can be just with you. But like you said, you have to go home and really examine it and say, is it worth it to stay in this relationship? Good luck to you. Thanks for being on the show.